Last week, the UAE announced that it will allow full foreign ownership of companies and long-term visas to certain professions and investors. What does this mean for the long-term future of the UAE economy? My name is Jeremy Lawrence. I'm here with Bernd de Boosman and you're watching Inside AB. Bernd, that was a huge week, really big announcements. Uh, two facets to it, of course. Let's start with residency. Well, what they said, I mean, there, there's still a lot of unclear areas in this, but what they said about the residency was now there'll be 10-year residency visas for certain specialists, and for example, scientific fields, medical fields, research fields, technical fields. Um, those are quite broad definitions, obviously, but that's generally the idea. There'll also be now five-year visas for students, which of course means that once they graduate, they can stay for a while and explore their options here rather than have to find a job immediately. Yep. And exceptional students, um, they haven't said what that means exactly, but they'll be able to stay for 10 years as well. Um, so it, it, it really is very, very significant in terms of residency. Yeah, yeah, and obviously trying to retain talent in the country. Yeah, it'll, it'll go a long way to that. And it also, like you said, it means people won't necessarily have to leave if they're looking for jobs. Yeah, um, yeah. Now, the foreign ownership of companies was equally huge. Up until now, of course, that was only allowed in free zones. Um, but this change does beg many questions. Of course, we don't know the full details. Firstly, what does this mean for the UA nationals who currently sponsor companies and get 51% share? And um, also, what does it mean for the free zones in which they, they, the companies traditionally did operate? Well, we spoke to Neil Petch, who's the chairman of Virtue Zone, which of course helps companies set up in the UAE. And he said, I mean, one of the benefits for UAE nationals is that, if, for example, now if you're a UAE national and your expatriate partner leaves for some reason or defaults, you're held legally responsible. And you're mm -hmm. also, of course, the majority owner of that company. Yeah. But now that the new laws, in theory, free Emiratis from, from that responsibility. Um, and as for free zones, he said, I mean, there's there's still a lot of benefits to free zones, especially uh, if companies that are starting out or companies that are just trying to find their way into the region through the UAE. Yeah. There's still a lot of benefits. So he said, you know, he thinks for every company that leaves a free zone to go onshore, there'll be more five, ten companies from abroad that still want to be able to set up in the free zone. Okay, so he thinks everyone will benefit from this. Yeah, of course, free zones are organizations, there's a lot of other benefits than just the 100% ownership. Sure, not least being part of a hub. Yeah, and you know, there's the, the networking, the, the the licensing, and everything that's done through the free zone. So yeah. there's still benefits to it. Okay, okay. Now, of course, there's going to be many long-term benefits. And one of the primary ones you would imagine will be real estate. If people now feel they can commit to the country for a longer period of time. Yeah, I mean, that's... We spoke to a lot of analysts that said that it's kind of it's it's a huge game changer and that, you know, now people will feel more permanent. There'll be kind of a sense of you know, community and belonging here rather than a fear that if, for example, if my job goes away, if I lose my job, I have to leave. Yeah. Um, so people will be more encouraged to come. They'll be more encouraged to buy property. It'll you know, make demand more steady and consistent over over time. Um, and and I mean, it'll essentially build more communities because people will actually feel more as if they're part of a UAE community rather than people who are here temporarily. Yeah, okay. Now, um, we talked about academics coming through, the people who are going to be starting businesses and innovation. What about people who are entrepreneurs and startups right now? What have they had to say about it? Well, that's interesting. That's uh, uh, We spoke to uh, Fadi Handur, you know, the, the godfather of entrepreneurship in the UAE, yeah. as they call him, and, and he said... Again, I hate to use the term a second time, but game changer uh, for entrepreneurs. For example, now it's it's very difficult to be a freelancer in terms of costs, um, if, especially if you're set up in a free zone, which is more expensive than not setting up in a free zone, yeah. the licensing, of, et cetera. Um, so it, it just makes things easier and it'll attract more you know, human talent yeah. here and also more capital. Um, so for startups and entrepreneurs, it's also very significant. Okay. Wonder what it means as well for people at the other end of the scale as well. People coming up to retirement, if you can get ten-year visas, we don't know about those details, yeah, but that will be interesting. Unclear, to see. but it, it'll be interesting to, to see. I mean, especially if, if people have property um, that they've stayed for a much longer time than they would have otherwise because of this. I wonder what'll what that'll mean for them. Great. Okay. Well, we'll learn more as the new uh, the laws get ironed out, and we learn what those uh, the technical specifics of it are. So, Bern, thank you very much. You've been watching Inside AB. 
please do join us every weekday at 10 a.m. and subscribe and share. We'll see you next time.